Before we go, I'm going to spotlight one of the amazing nonprofits that you'll find here in Monroe County. Now, Habitat for Humanity, they're a grassroots organization that's dedicated to the elimination of poverty and providing affordable homes for residents here in the Keys. Habitat for Humanity of the Middle Keys, they have impacted the lives of so many families down here, one of the homes that you see behind me right now. This was actually completed by Habitat for Humanity just a few years ago. Christine, thank you for being on the show with me this morning. Thank you, Jenna. It's my pleasure. I'm very excited to be here yeah. and talk about Habitat. Well, it's wonderful having you, and I'm going to have you start out, Christine, by telling our viewers a little bit about your history. Okay. Well, Habitat for Humanity of the Middle Keys, we're a very small affiliate, and we started and incorporated back in 1991. Uh, over the, the, the first years, it was a little slow going, but I'm very excited. We, in the last five years, have uh, created 14 affordable homes for families in Marathon. All together in our history, we've done 19, but just in the last five years, we've done 14. So we really stepped it up a notch, and I'm wonderful. pretty excited about that. Yeah. That's wonderful. And now, what makes those homes affordable, Christine? Well, it's interesting because I get that question a lot. And what really makes the Habitat program of buying a home affordable is that we're the lender. So we select families in Marathon based on three different factors. Uh, one of those is the ability to financially pay for the home. And I am kind of going ahead of the game, but one of the misconceptions we have are people believe that the homes are given to a family and they're actually not. They're purchasing the home from us. What we do and how it's affordable is we build the home mm -hmm. and we sell it to that selected family at cost with a 0% interest loan. Okay. That's what makes it affordable. Mm -hmm. They're just like any other homeowner in Monroe County. They have to pay taxes and insurance and it's their home so they have all the costs associated with home ownership. But because of that 0% interest loan, it makes it truly affordable. We also have the ability as the lender to like a conventional home right now that you could buy with down payment costs, closing costs, you could be ha you know you could be up to twenty thousand dollars out of pocket at closing, and because of the Habitat program, we're able to work with the homeowner so that that's not a requirement. That's wonderful. Yes, okay, so, so that understands how all of that works. Yeah. Now, are there some other misconceptions about Habitat? Well, you know, I would say what I've found is the main misconception is just what I had already jumped forward to is that people think that someone's being given a home. Mm -hmm. You know, that they're that they're just walking into a home ownership opportunity, and that's really not the case. I explained to someone recently, and, I, and it really touched home for him that. The families that we select are very deserving, very hardworking, important people in our community. Uh, in just an example, uh, we've got an array of different homeowners from teachers at daycare to, to teachers at the elementary school to an RN to a deputy sheriff to the assistant manager at Publix, the assistant manager at McDonald's. I mean, mm -hmm. these are roles in our community that these people are important. Mm -hmm. We want them to stay here, but they should also have the dream of affordable home ownership or home ownership and we make it affordable. Okay, okay. Thank you for clearing that yeah, up. Yeah. Now, welcome. let's talk about some of your goals for this new year, Christine. You're the executive director. I'm sure that there's a list of goals yes. that you'd like to accomplish. Yes, absolutely. Well, the most important of the goals we have on the table right now is we are in the process of building two new homes. Mm -hmm. And okay. hopefully, our, we're hoping it will be uh, completion date of January 2013. So that's what we're in process of at this time. And then we're also gearing up. We've got some other ideas of <clears throat> getting into the community and doing more of a partnership mm -hmm. drive, as I, I will call it, a partnership, um, a, a goal of, I mean, Marathon has the most giving people and all of the companies and the people who live in Marathon really do so much for us. And, and I want to give back and be able to uh, give them recognition, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. on, a, on a monthly and weekly basis versus just once a year when we do a fundraiser. So I'm working on a partnership program that will recognize those companies and those individuals who give a lot of their time and, and monetary donations and such. Okay, and now speaking of these community partnerships, how could our viewers get involved with Habitat if they'd be interested? They, yes, uh, the best thing to do is you know call myself and or you can go to our website which is habitatmiddlekeys.org 
And, you know, in, when we say get involved, a lot of people think, you know, they may not have the monetary means to donate, and that's fine. We always need just even outreach and just volunteers to come to our meetings, learn about what we're doing, learn about the impact that we're having on families here in Marathon, and, you know, helping with fundraisers or... Mm -hmm. We may have a project coming up where we may be able to rehab a house mm -hmm. and then people will get back and be able to physically help build and rehab. So there's a lot of things that we want to do, but we, our volunteer base right now is very, very small and that's one of our challenges. Um, we probably on a full-time basis only have 12 individuals, maybe 15 that are at every meeting, that are at every event. And being that small, there's a lot of our goals we're not able to meet because right. it really does require more, I like to say, brain power, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. more ideas, and just more people to do whatever they can to help in, in the different fundraising or, or, you know, different things that we do. Okay, wonderful. Well, if anyone's interested, please check out their website, find out their contact information, and contact Christine and get involved with Habitat. Thank Absolutely. you for sharing all of this with Thank us you. this morning. That's going to do it for me today, everyone. I will be back tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30. Thank you for starting your day off with me. Hopefully you can be back again tomorrow. It'll be okay It'll be okay And that's what she says And that's what she tells me It'll be okay She tells me yeah. And that's what she